afternoon. <laughs> we keep saying that. I bet you people think all we do is just sleep. No, we got in at about what time is it last night? One. One-ish. It was around one o'clock. But we're doing our last time at Animal Kingdom today, but we've not got fast passes because we've done the fast passes for tonight instead for like soaring and stuff. So we're not that bothered in like rides and that today. We just want to look at the shops and do last minute things that we want to get done in Animal Kingdom. But we did Animal Kingdom loads at the beginning of the holiday, like everything we needed to do. So yeah, we decided to just chill, sort stuff out in the room this morning, both get showers because we were too tired to last night. Um, drying her ticks forever and then we're gonna get some food in our food court now and then get the bus to Animal Kingdom. Yep. Eat this. <laughs> the size of that slice of pepperoni. Like there's my hand and it's still ten times bigger. Size salad, cheese, cookie for Amy and then I've got cheese because I don't like the strawberry stuff but I'll just eat around it because we're never hungry enough for the desserts anyway are we? I might go out with the pumpkin. Yeah, these are my favourite things ever when you get pizza at Disney. And Chili flakes and pounds and peanut butter. <laughs> oh, I'm like way too full. We probably can sit down and I puked all over this bus. I want to sit down but I feel like I won't be able to get back up again. <laughs> I'm like way too full. Some cream on at all. That's not good. How pretty is that tree? <laughs> Super pretty. Shoes. <laughs> oh. Hello. Oh. Oh. oh Amy, tough choice. That one's amazing. I still love this me. I wish I could have that. Last time at Animal Kingdom. For how long? Well, less than a year. About, well, let's call it, let's call it December when we get back, because it's the end. December, January, March, April, May, June, July, August, September. 11 months. 11 months. <laughs> so just less than a year. Aww. Oh, see you, bye. Goodbye, Animal Kingdom. It's sad, sad isn't it? <laughs> Where are we going? Okay. We want to go to Epcot, but we wanted to get the monorail in, but we may as well just get may as well just get the bus to Epcot, right? And we did you even look what number it was? Yeah. Go back. What number was it? Is it fifteen? Go look. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I did look. Oh, how lazy. Me and Hannah have booked to move out here. 
<laughs> oh, I wish. So yeah, we just pressed play on the camera because we're too lazy to Yeah, and it was 15. 15. But five steps in this heat, it just kills you. So we're in Epcot, so what time is it? Just pause in here, we'll just take our time. Like we only really came back here today to do like shops and stuff, didn't we? I got me Lion King picture. Oh my god. So a little bit of a change of plan. The queue for okay. Ep no, the queue for Ep caught our Animal Kingdom was like really big, and then there was an art animation bus. And because we stayed here before in 2013, with a little bit of us was like, oh, I need to go back and just see. So but we're I reminiscing. No, I don't feel like I remember the bus stops, but yeah, we're going to have a little reminisce and have a little walk around. We're not getting a bit chopped up. Yeah, it's weird, isn't it? Is it 2013 that we stayed here? Yeah, 13. I just remember the music, because each hotel's even got like its own music. And I remember the Jonas Brothers version of um, Poor Unfortunate Souls always used to come on. Miley Cyrus sing A Little Mermaid. Hakuna Matata was always on. Oh look the trees up. Oh look at me, this is where you do that funny dance. that we came here I don't, understand. I don't understand why I feel so like oh I don't remember this or I don't remember that like I can't explain it I feel like I remember th remember this hotel more as a highlight in the dark I, I, I don't know why this is like my highlight I feel like there's not much like in the stuff to be honest but this is just oh. How pretty is that? Good, isn't it? The rooms are in there. Little Mermaid rooms aren't like this, though. They're out, like, in All Stars. Oh, Brings back so many memories coming back to, like, Disney hotels that we've stayed at. And, like, we drive past Coronado Springs, which is where we stayed last year with our mum, dad and granddad. And even that was like, oh. You just get some of it, it sounds so stupid. Again, a lot of people probably watch Disney vlogs and think, oh, why are people so attached? But it, you just can't explain the feeling. And you even get attached to different hotels, like, cute. We'll go down to Little Mermaid where we stayed. Yeah, that's where we stayed. And then we'll go to Epcot. I love how much it changed from like a jungle setting to like plants that look like under the sea plants. And then over the water's pop century, because I remember you could walk. Didn't you and Dad do a walk? Yeah, do you not remember that? <laughs> Didn't look down the city, I don't know, so I was like, Amy, 
Should we get up and go for a run this morning? Yeah. That's like... No. No. On my holidays. To be oh. fair, was because at that time I was in a bit of a... I Dingle hopper. I where I wanted to like yeah. be fit. I don't know why, because I wasn't like unfit. I loved these rooms. Oh, it's like that. Does that feel like that? Oh, I've got one with Eric. Oh, just gonna show you. <laughs> you didn't Watch, get that on. Watch yourself there. I've got, I've got one with there. Eric. How did? How have I? Hold that. <laughs> and this pool, like, is only small, but I used to love it. And there's Ariel. This pool didn't have closing hours as well. Do you remember? How come some Disney resorts have closing hours on pool? Because this, this just had quiet time. It was like quiet time from 10 o'clock onwards. So you could go in it because me and mum were always in that on a late night. Our rooms were like... Oh no, I'm not going round. Like there's Ariel and we used to go down to the bottom and we was around there. Around them doors somewhere. We're here. This is not Dapper Day anymore. <laughs> We can get the last two countries finished today as well. We can see what spaceship you for us. If you want. I've got a fast pass for it later tonight, but... Lovely. Yeah. Amy won't let me go on the Ellen ride. <laughs> 45 minutes long. So I like that ride. It's not really much of a ride, is it? But I like that ride. We're going on up into the festival centre. I have no idea what it is. Do you know what it is? I've watched vlogs. I don't think I have. I feel like I might have seen what it is when I get in. Is it the thing that's made, there's yeah. little things made of food? Oh no, I made that Tell up. It's like Eden Project. I know. I've literally never been in here. Even when we've been, when Food and Wine Festival's on, I've never been in here. Festival stage. The two. Ooh, wine tasting. Mmm. Oh, what are these all queuing for? You must be able to book like a special. Oh, yeah, look, the wine tasting. Living with the land because I've not done that yet. I'm not really fussed on it, but <laughs> we'll do it to kill time. Again, I'll do it for you. Don't you worry about the Ellen ride. It's Hannah, fine. Ten minutes. It's like fine. Ten minutes to queue. And then 15 minutes to be told about plants. And then we've got a fast pass for a soaring at 10 past seven. So, but it's only. 25 to 6. Got a long while yet. A 20 minute queue and then 15 minutes, so it could have gone on Ellen. <laughs> oh, stop! Put your heart on, son. You've never liked this ride. Beneath the surface of the land, and while this arid landscape may seem lifeless, it is very much alive. 
and the hooves of the muddy buffalo helped create the rich soil. That's where you can see the restaurant, isn't it? <laughs> I like the lights in it, right? <laughs> the there you go, highlight. <laughs> are exploring innovative ways to produce red fruit now and into the future. The tropics are home to the greatest diversity of plants on the planet. Cinnamon. Many of these, like papaya, bananas, cacao, coffee, and rice, are well known around the world. But fish farming or aquaculture accounts for nearly half of all the seafood consumed globally. Tilapia, bass, and catfish, like the ones you see here, are three of the more popular crops raised by fish farmers. Oh, I love cotton plants. While there are more than 50,000 edible plant species in the world, most of us are only familiar with the handful that make up our everyday diet. The common grains growing here, wheat, maize, sorghum, and millet, plus rice, account for nearly two-thirds of our global food consumption. Learning how to increase yields of these staples is an important goal of research around the world. Innovative growing techniques like these increase yields while more efficiently using resources like water, fertilizer, and pesticides. Another innovation at work here is our integrated pest management program. By populating our greenhouses with beneficial insects that prey on harmful pests like aphids and flies, we are significantly reducing our reliance on conventional pesticides. So we're just trying to kill some time before soaring fast packs. So we're going to have a little look and see what this Disney Pixar film is. Do you know what I think it is, Amy? You know before you watch a Disney film, they do them little animated videos. Mm. Remember like that lava one and the dog and things like that? I think it's them. It's like no one here. Because <sighs> this used to be that Captain Eel. Do you remember? I think everyone's got the same right here. Oh. That was really cute. Like really, really cute. I've always loved them short ones anyway. They are really good. People being filmed. I can see them. Don't know. Filming for something. Back in the land. Which way should we go? We'll go this way. Because it'll lead us out down to that bit down there. Are you hungry? No. We'll just wait here. Behind the scenes greenhouse tour has concluded for today, but this says smell me. Smell it. Oh my god. Wow. That's good, isn't it? It's supposed to be. I have no idea. <laughs> Yay! It's Taylor! What? I oh, know. But I don't get people who try and come in like more than 10 minutes early because that's the reason for the 10 minute gaps to let people who've got the fast pass get in and then they have their slot. <laughs> Eager beavers. Which one are we? Oh, we're the middle one. No, we're not. Got like the best. What, what, what would you say it was? Middle. Yeah, middle. Middle theatre front row. Middle theatre front row, yeah. We asked, but 
was, she put us in two. Yeah, we, she put us in two, space. but there was already spaces left in one. But it's just fine. But now we are going to go over to countries. countries. We're going to finish, take off the last two countries for food and wine. And get tea. Get, yeah. And by tea, we mean like a proper tea. Because we're going to get fish and chips. Good old fish and, fish and chips from the UK. So, yeah. Still a little bit of fun, but. Maybe this is it. Jamaican beef patty. Okay, so that one was just the islands, which we're not really going to count. We're just going to do Greece and Hawaii because they're the two main countries, aren't they? What do you mean? But, like the two. Other country, like that's just oh, an island not thing that. in general. We're, we're not classic If we can find Hawaii though. Greece, are we getting the Greek nachos? Yeah, that chicken sounds nice as well, doesn't it? The Greek yogurt. Yeah. And you can kind of see it. I want to know where the nacho is. Oh, there are the. No, they're like two nachos though. Right, go on, have a bite. Ooh, stinks. I don't know what anything is. Are you just, are you just gonna go for it? Mm. It's not that bad. It's not something you'd eat, so it's quite good because it just makes you like all right, isn't it? But I don't get how you only get like one nacho. <laughs> right, let's try to eat. Grease loaded Greek nachos. Right, so if we don't find Hawaii, is Patagonia a country? Right, if we don't come across them two, then I don't know what we're supposed to We'll just yeah, we'll just leave we've, them. We've completed it though. We've literally gone all around World mm. Showcase. So. Yay! Fish and chips. Yay! We got proper fish and chips and some healthy snacks. <laughs> I'm excited to eat this now. Really, really, really excited. I know wish illuminations were starting now because this is a good a good view, isn't it? Newspapers, yeah, we don't actually get newspapers at home. Well, depends where you go. I bet if you go to London and you got a proper chippy rod. We're in the queue. This is gonna be the longest queue we've ever done. Two hours. We don't do it though, we're not gonna Yeah, do it. it's for the frozen ever yeah, after. Passes, so. We're just gonna do it, so we're we'll see. Yeah. It might not be too long. Yeah. Oh. And that's why it's going on. But we said I'll make the like four cuts possible. I know. Right, well we'll see you in two hours. So about <laughs> 20 minutes after we last book, we've only just got through the door. This isn't gonna be good. <laughs> What time is it? 9.57. Yeah, so like just over an hour in. Oh. And your Anna and Elsa are happy excited to see you. We made it! <laughs> that was 
isn't quite two hours. No, I'd say about an hour and, an hour and like 25 minutes. 20, 25. Actually, no, about an hour and 15, you know. in and out of Epcot every time. It's just like amazing on camera. Please people don't all be going to buses. <laughs> My legs are too tired to queue after queue for frozen. I don't get a seat on this bus so I can get the monorail I'll sit on top of it. We won't get we're not getting the monorail. Well we'll go straight for the bus then. Oh, no. We're back Finally. Oh, Batch's dying, so I'll have to end this quick. We're just going to chill now, go to sleep soon, and then tomorrow is hotel hopping and fantasmic in the night. Fantasmic on the night, so. See you tomorrow!